Hello, it's Miss Heather, piano and voice teacher at Conservatory of the Ozarks. And it's Caitlin, her music student. Yay! So today I'm showing Caitlin how to sing some of the exercises out of this book. Even though that's my book. <laughs> this is her book. So she's already practiced on these. Um, I think this is a great set of warm-ups for a and, student uh, who likes... you can put it in a radio and it has different choices of different ones you can do. And it has a CD. Like, oh, your CD is missing. <laughs> but it comes with a CD. But um, like if you have an arrow, if you have an arrow button, you can click over it and like... Okay, if it starts on one, you need to click over like 10 more. And on number 11, it's a really good one. You go, uh, what oh, one? Mame, me, mo, moo. And then you hold out the moo. And if you can hold it longer than him, you're doing great. But if you can't, that's okay. Just keep going. So, I think this is a great set of warm-up exercises for students who are interested in singing pop, rock, country, gospel, contemporary Christian. Like Anything. any any contemporary style. Not not so great for a student who's wanting to learn the classical style, like the right. bel canto style, but if you're a student who's more interested in more contemporary styles, this like is a really Katie good. Like Katy Perry or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one for that. So this is from Berkeley Press. I sell them here at the Conservatory of the Ozarks to my students. And this is the first uh, warm-up in the book. So it's a slide, which means you're going to go, ooh, so you're going to be gliding over all the pitches instead of, Ooh, 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 where you hit one pitch and then another pitch, uh, we're going to glide over all the pitches in between like it's a glissando. gracefully not. And first you do a lip trill, and then you switch to an ooh, and then you switch to a e. So for the ooh vowel, we want to keep a fingertip of space between our teeth at all times like this, all the way around. Ooh. And keep your lips rounded, so it sounds like an ooh. ooh. And keep the tip of your tongue against the roots of your lower teeth. Ooh. Right, ooh. so there's open space in your mouth. For the E, it's very similar, e. except the middle part of your tongue has to go up towards the roof of your mouth. E. Keep the tip of your tongue down against the roots of your lower teeth. E. So, e. space between your teeth. All right, so we're going to push play. And we'll give this first one a try. It's called the warm up slide. I think I've done this one. Warm ups for all voices. We're going to breathe down low the whole time. One, two, three, four. <laughs> those three sounds several times so in the book if you read the tips in the description of how to do the exercise it suggests that you use a straight tone which is popular in contemporary styles and in a couple of other videos those neck uh, stretches will actually help you do the warm-ups and then you can you sound great when you sing but um, even though a straight tone is popular in contemporary style as opposed to vibrato which you hear more in the classical style like oh um, vibrato is useful even in contemporary styles, so I recommend rather than using a straight tone all the way through for this, you use vibrato when you ascend to the higher pitch. So, rather than which is how it's demonstrated on the CD, I think it's healthier to open up your tone with some vibrato on the top pitch. That's my opinion. So, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.